hello friends welcome to tutorials point in this tutorial we will see how we can bring in the data from the SAP HANA and how we can use it in Excel for the analysis purpose so first of all let's open the Excel sheet after that once we'll go to the data and we'll select from other sources so in this we have the option of from data connection wizard in the uh, data connection wizard we have to select other and advanced then we'll click on next and here we have to choose the connector for SAP HANA so we have this SAP HANA MDX provider so this SAP HANA MDX provider it, it has to be installed separately so we have to first install it and after that we will be able to see this in the data links then you will click on next and here you have to enter the connection details of the SAP HANA system to which you want to connect. So here you have to enter the username and the password. And we can click on the test connection. So it says the test connection succeeded. And we will click on OK. So here we can see the list of all the um, list of all the packages and all the views inside it so if we go to the drop down we can see the list of all the packages and after that if we select the package we will be able to see the uh, particular view inside it so let's say if you want to use the demo analytical view so here uh, it is asking us for the save data connection file and finish so we can click on finish so we want to replace the existing one now it is uh, asking us to select how we want to view this data in the workbook so we can select the pivot table report we can select the pivot chart and pivot table both or only create the connection so we'll choose the pivot table report and we'll click on OK So we have to enter the password again so now we can see that we have all the major values and all the dimensions which were there in the selected view that are existing in the pivot table field list so here we can select the values which we want to use and after that the dimensions which we want to use so as soon as we will select the values we will be able to see it in the area of the values similarly if we select the dimensions we will be able to see them in the row labels so let's say if we want to select the employee data employee name after that we can see on the left hand side that these values are getting added to my pivot table similarly if we want to make any of them as a filter so what we can do is we can go here and we can make it as a move to report filter so it will be added to the report filter area and we can choose the value from here in the pivot table so here we have the different dates so if we want to select one at a time we can select one and if we want to choose the multiple items we can select the multiple items and then we can choose the values with using the check boxes similarly if we want to remove the filter so we can go again here and we can click on the remove field so it will remove the filter from here and we can again add it to the row labels so now if we go here then we can see the different field uh, like which section we want to show so we have the field selection and area selection stack then we have the field section and area similarly we have the different view like if you want to see the fields only if you want to see the area selection only so based on uh, the uh, the view which we want to see we can select the values after that we can turn it into the insert chart as well so right now we have used the pivot table but if we want to insert the chart we can go to the insert and then we can use any of the charts from here so let's say if I want to use the column chart so we can use the column chart 
and here it has automatically selected the values for the access level and the values so the salary is my major value which is selected in the measures and my calendar month employee name and the employee date they are added under the access filters then we can click on close and we can see that the chart is created with the data which we are having in the SAP HANA analytic view. So this is how we can bring in the data from my SAP HANA modeling views. We can format these charts as per the requirement like we can change the colors, we can change the font. So we can uh, do all the, um, all the flexible things which we have in the SAP like uh, all the things which we have in the Excel so all those things we can do with the with this data which we have brought from SAP HANA thank you